If you've just gotten your hands on the brand new Autel Alpha, we are so excited for you. This drone just isn't a step forward, it's a full on game changer for the industry. But before you take to the skies, here's everything you need to know to make your first flight a success. In this video, we will cover charging, setting up the aircraft, inspection checks, mounting the L35T camera payload, installing the micro SD card, powering on and activating, as well as making sure you are on the latest firmware. The first steps after you unbox the drone is to get your batteries charging up, and this includes both the drone batteries and the built-in remote controller battery. You will want to grab the small power brick for the remote controller and plug the USB-C cable into the remote and plug the other end into the power brick. Simply plug this into any outlet and you will see the battery indicator lights on the remote light up. And there are four lights. One light illuminated is the lowest charge and four lights illuminated will be fully charged. From an extremely low battery to be fully charged, you should expect this to take roughly an hour to an hour and a half. The Autel Alpha comes with the charging hub for the drone batteries. Plug the power cord into the charging hub and then plug the power adapter into a wall outlet. Ensure that the outlet is functioning properly and the charger is connected securely. Carefully align the battery terminals with the corresponding contacts in the charger. It should slide in smoothly without forcing it. Once you have the contacts properly secured to the batteries, you will see the LEDs on the battery start to illuminate, which means you are on your way to a fully charged battery. The process to fully charge the battery should take roughly the same amount of time as a remote controller, roughly an hour to an hour and a half to be fully charged. Let's move on to setting up the aircraft. You will want to extend all four arms into position, and when they are fully locked, you will hear a click sound indicating that the arms are locked into place. From here, it's time to inspect the drone for any signs of damage that could lead you to an unsafe flight. Body inspection. Examine the drone's body for any cracks, dents, or any other damage. Pay close attention to the arms, the landing gear, and the area around the camera gimbal. Propellers. Ensure all propellers are securely attached and undamaged. Look for any signs of wear, cracks, or chips and replace any damaged propellers immediately. Motor check. Spin each motor manually to ensure that they move freely without any resistance or unusual noises. The L35T camera comes with a micro SD card pre-installed, but we will show you how to remove it and install it in these next steps. On the side of the camera, you will see a protective cover. Carefully pull that back and use your finger or an SD card removal tool and gently press in and pull the card out of the slot. To install it back into the camera, simply line up the SD card and you will feel it engage the lock and from here, your SD card is installed and ready to capture. Remove the lens cover and return that to the Autel hard case for storage and align the red dots on both the camera gimbal and the mounting point and turn clockwise to lock into position. Now that your batteries are fully charged, install them into the aircraft and ensure that the locks are engaged and the batteries are fully seated. Power on the drone by pressing the top button for two to three seconds. Take the remote and power it on by pressing the power button at the top right. When you first power on the drone and the remote controller, you will be prompted to accept the terms and conditions from Autel, but you are not required to create or log into any user profile. From here, if you have an Autel Care code, you can input that information or choose to sign up for Autel Care, which is a protection plan that covers the drone from unexpected loss or incidents. Now that you are on the main screen, you will want to connect to Wi-Fi by swiping down from the top right of the screen and connect to your local Wi-Fi connection. After your updates are completed, you are all set and ready to get in the air. Check out our next video in this series, which will cover your first flight. If you have any questions, give us a call at 855-8-DRONES or check us out online at floridadronesupply.com. As always, thank you for watching and enjoy your flight.